Hey, hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I'm great. I Made mean, it sound like my name's great. It's not, it's Jeff. So uh, here's what happened. I've been moving the plants out. That'll all be in a separate video. And uh, in that vlog, I ran to the hardware store to get some more spray because there's a mealybug problem, which I'm sure isn't news to anyone who's been watching the channel. Um, that's been an issue all winter. And I said when I'd bring them out, I was gonna be blasting these guys off and treating them. It's mostly my areca palms, but there's a few scatter on other plants. Anyway, so what happened? Here's what happened. I went out to the nurseries and then the things happen that happen when you're at the nurseries. It ended up being kind of lengthy. So I figured I'm gonna split that into a separate vlog, this vlog, hitting up those nurseries, and then it can look at what I got or didn't get as I was claiming, and you, you'll understand what that's about. And the, then the video where I'm moving my plants out will be out shortly after this one, where I'm treating everything and all that fun stuff. So here we go. Hmm. Obviously gonna have a look at the plants, check out the house plants and the tropicals and whatnot. These guys right here, this Talanzia Sinea, these, if you see them and they're faded like this and you just give them a little bit more morning light, these will color up nicely. I, these are pretty much the same as the ones I did in the video where I moved my orchids outside. And uh, I'll show you when I get back to the house how much they've colored up from just a few days of getting more sunlight. They look so much more vibrant and pink than this one. Not here to get plants. I need to just find my stuff. This isn't, that's not my cart. I was just leaning on it. I know it makes sense for like floral arrangements maybe to get these smaller ones, but like literally for $7 more? Just saying. I mean, they're like barely rooted in, but still, I mean, a little bit more bang for your buck. These aren't mine though, so but I'm just following, just pushing it around for someone else. Not buying any plants. What are you doing in here? You're cute. You're supposed to be outside. I take you outside, but maybe somebody just set you there and they're coming back for you. Okay, where you? No, that's not the bonite. What are you? Pyrethrin? Good stuff. Not what I'm looking for. Here we go. Bonite neem. This is. I like this one. Look at how beautiful the foliage is on this hydrangea vine. It's not a typical hydrangea vine. It's actually a. What's that? Sky's a fragment, but stunning. Isn't that beautiful? Nice creamy variegation. It's a six through nine. Three to six hours of sunlight, so low light. It's beautiful. What beautiful foliage. You can see the leaves are like slightly serrated. It's beautiful. This would look so good in a shady garden where it gets a little bit of morning light. I like that so much. That's one I'm gonna be thinking about for the shade garden. See, and here's a regular hydrangea vine just chilling over here with the hollies for some reason. You can see they're very similar as far as the amount of light they get. A uh, little bit more cold hardy. That other one was his own six, but this gets 50 to 80 feet. I think that other one's at like 10 to 18 feet. So big difference size wise. And I, I know these flower. You can see it right there on the tag. I don't know about those other guys or if it's impressive, but the foliage is impressive enough and it stays smaller. You have to tend to these a little bit more to keep them tidy. But I like them both. And I have a variegated one of these at home that I'm already planning on using in the shade garden, but I could always exchange them. They're the same price. Something to think about. I, I know I've said I don't like the hibiscus with the dark centers or the rosy centers, but oh, she's cute. Starstruck Hollywood hibiscus. That is beautiful. Still very Rose of Sharon-esque to me, but pretty. Hey, can you believe I just went to Lowe's and didn't buy a single plant? So good, so much self-control, I'm so well behaved. This isn't my car, I'm loading it for someone else. The sun is like just the right kind of shade that hurts the eyeballs. Like I want my sunglasses on, but when they're on it's too dark. You know what I'm talking about? Look at how big this flower is. Come through here. Look at that. Oh, I'm at Home Depot now. I wanted to see if they had the Amazel Basil. Look at that. It's huge. It doesn't have a label. It's just labeled as a Rosa Sinensis Hibiscus. I have this flower. It's that beautiful bright cherry red. And then in here is its opening. It's like a darker crimson. That's kind of neat. There could also be like two different plants in here. I'm not sure. Maybe. Yes, <laughs> there are. 
so that might account for that. Don't well, look at, they also have a teeny tiny adorable little bird of paradise like Walmart did. These look much better though. They're so cute. And I get my Mandevillas from Home Depot every year. The smaller ones are usually 24 to 30 bucks, and the big ones used to be 39 to 44. Oh, uh, well, I don't I don't see the those aren't the ones we're talking about. I guess they're sold out. They had them last time I was here. $64.99. Something like that. That's crazy. That's one of those price differences where I decide between a big box store and a local nursery. I'm gonna spend that kind of money. I'll go to my local nursery and support them. The only reason I'll go to a big box store for like really, really, really cheap prices and clearance and things like that. I mean, and they have a great selection in my area too. Yeah, I think you guys know what I mean, right? If I'm gonna spend like big buck nurse, big dollar nursery prices, I'm gonna go to the nursery and support them. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do any of these this year. I have to think about it. Yeah, like I said, I'm looking for the Amazel Basils from Proven Winners, and they had the, this is pretty, isn't it? The Jurassic Rex Begonia, this great foliage. I was saying, oh yeah, I got the, what are, I don't remember what they're called, the, the strawberries, the really pretty strawberries from Home Depot, the Proven Winners ones, and I think those would be fun to plant up with the Amazel Basil, but I don't, I can't find it. Oh, look how pretty the fuchsias are. I love them. Such beautiful flowers. Look at that. Stunning. There's a variety of fuchsia, my favorite variety, and I can't remember its name. It has a similar flower to these guys right here. These. See these guys? But the purple is like a light, creamy lavender. It's so pretty. It could be, there's tons of different varieties of fuchsia. I haven't seen it in a few years. If I can find one of those, I might nab it up. Hey, lady, how y'all doing? Thirsty? Yes, I see that, very thirsty. Okay, I think you guys know, I don't normally go for yellow, but um, hi, hello. Beautiful, look at my caffeine hands, <laughs> trembling with flower, let me set you down. That's gorgeous, more orange than yellow, that's why I like it. And you know, yellow's growing on me, it is, which I'm fine with. Change is a good thing, that's, eh, nope. You want to see something beautiful? Look at these calla lilies. Oh, they're beautiful. I like a calla lily with the spotted foliage and the, oh, the flowers. They're like an apricot pink kind of sunset mimosa tequila sunrise color. And they have them in a whitey pink over here too. Aren't they gorgeous? I love these. Okay, so these $14.98 ones are marked down to $12.98. You see they're in these special pots. What's that? Q44745. And then you are different skew. Dang it. I mean, I can see why, because these are very basic compared to these. Those are the cheapest ones, though. I also wanted to check out this nursery that's near where I was, because they have, like, huge specimen-sized Japanese maples, and they have that big one in neutral place, so I'm gonna check that out. <laughs> For example, look at the size of this one. I mean, this is, look at, I don't, I can't even show you proportionally how huge this is. Let's see. <laughs> 200 gallon pot. <laughs> Pretty big. And it is 1,200. Oh, that sounds like a lot, but considering, not too bad. Not what I'm looking to do, but not terrible for how big it is. Okay, it's actually really hard to film in here because there are these clouds of, gnats everywhere that I don't think are going to show up, but like, I can't open my mouth without inhaling bugs. I'm not into that. Beautiful plants, though. Aren't they gorgeous? I mean, look at these Japanese maples. They're fantastic. I don't want to go with another blood good. They get too big, but I would like something red, potentially. Maybe I'll even go a different direction. I, don't know, but I just I want to get an idea of what's going on. Some options. These gorgeous hollies. 45 variety name honey made wow <laughs> it's like owen wilson aren't those beautiful i love those that conical shape i'm gonna do some reading up on those because i really like these you know i had been talking about doing the skip laurels on my back berm for a privacy hedge hollies can take some shade too though but not all of them i gotta do some reading about it but if these are one of the ones that can take a little bit more shade, I might go with these. A little bit more pricey though. Something to think about. Oh my god. 
gosh, look at this. That, wow, that is an old plant, gorgeous. I can't even, can you guys grasp what I'm looking at here? I can't get far enough away to get it into frame. You have tag anything? Where's your, I don't know, it's pretty though. These U's look awesome too. Wow. Pretty. Nice bark on ya. See what I mean? I mean, these are really big plants. I, there's a narrow pathway here, so I can't really get far enough away to show how big some of these plants are. I love columnar U's. These are, if you're looking for something that gives you the effect of a podocarpus, but you don't live someplace where you can grow that, it's a good option. It's not quite the same, but gives a similar effect. It's beautiful, too. They look nice. Look at how vibrant and colorful and happy everything is. All the flowers. And you can see this place, it's huge. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Do you see that giant Japanese maple down here that's in a pot? That looks like it's probably a, one of the blood goods. Another 200 gallon plant. I can't mean. Look. Monster. I can't, you know, this place might deserve its own vlog. Like, I'm shopping for a Japanese maple, potentially, but this is kind of the gist of it. A little glimpse of everything. And they have, I mean, this is. Wow. I don't really know what else to say other than just, like, wow. And this is a very small fraction of this nursery. I mean, look, goes from there, all the way, so big. <laughs> Bye. Go ahead and get your magnolia in a 200 gallon pot. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, do they sell these? Because these would be really nifty for summer tether type things. Mm, I doubt they do. I mean, look at, look at these, they're huge. These spruce are looking good too. Oh, yeah. I just popped in to like get an idea of some things, but this is very promising. Not a lot of prices on things, so that makes it more difficult. Ooh, hey spruce. Is that true? Seven feet tall, four feet wide, in ten years for the bison blue. Really? I feel like it's already. Much, much, much taller than seven feet. Right? I mean, I guess you can't tell. I don't know about that, but that would be a good option. I can't, cannot see my screens. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm looking at. See how big some of these plants are? It's just it's crazy. I like to stop saying crazy. It's probably not politically correct anymore. I mean, I in psychology, so I should really know better anyways. But I'm wondering with these bison boys, like, that they're, these are definitely taller than seven feet. So I want to do more reading up on those, but I don't know how much they are. And I like the idea of planting something tall and open so that I have shade underneath it, but I'm really into the blue spruces. And I don't have anywhere else I can plant one. And, you know, a columnar or one that's narrow would work in the spot that I'm thinking of. You guys don't even know what I'm talking about. In my front yard, there's a big, huge Japanese maple that died. And I need to replace it with something. So that's that's what I'm talking about here. It's more of those Japanese maples. I really do like these. This is a winter orange acer, Japanese maple, the bark. It's really pretty. And in winter time, when it doesn't have any foliage on it, they're still really stunning with that bright orange bark. And then here are those skip laurels. They look good. They're pretty big, they cost more than from the place I was planning on getting them. They're a little bit more full though. I don't know. Okay, that. This is a winner. How much are you? As if I'd be able to afford that. I would need it delivered too. 725, and it's a blood good. That's too big. That was the only problem with that Japanese maple is it was way too big to be where it was. Oh, well, that about does it. I'm gonna wrap things up here and get back to moving the plants out. Okay, I know I said I was done, but look at this magnolia, the macrophylla. Look at that. So cool. I love the foliage on these magnolias. <laughs> kind of a funny looking tree until they get bigger, but 
they have that great big huge foliage. I do still prefer evergreen magnolias for the most part, but I really like those too. Oh, and this one's sold, but I just wanted to show it to everybody. Look at how cool. So neat. That's a Japanese maple. So pretty. Super unique foliage. Carnival is the variety. Really cool. Okay, so here's uh, the... Remember, I didn't get anything. There's nothing in here. Absolutely nothing to see here. Eh, that's enough of that charade. Y'all know me better than that. So here's three crotons and a couple of the Red Sister Cordon Fruticasas. These were marked down because, yeah, kind of crispy. So got a great deal on those. I like how they look too. I don't... Not necessarily setting anything up like this. Just kind of laying things out so they can be watered and not get water all over the patio. There's one of these crotons with the longer, more linear leaves. I think the variety is called Mammy, but I'm not positive. I did end up grabbing one of these really pretty peachy, sort of, you, you guys saw them, the cow lilies. Those are beautiful and I already know what I'm gonna do with them. Aren't those gorgeous? I love those cow lilies. Couple of wave petunias. I haven't grown the waves in a while, but these, um, they smell fantastic. A lot of the times, very often, the uh, bluey, more purple, Petunias have more scent to them, I've noticed, and these, they smelled really good. Put those right there for now. Superbina Stormburst, this has really, really fun, pretty flowers on it. Aren't those pretty? I love those flowers. Look how well those go together, that looks nice. Just a couple of these Snow Princess Alyssums. These always smell really nice too. Kind of have like a scent thing going on here in the morning time, they smell really good. And then another Supertunia Vista Silverberry. I got the one that was in the last vlog, and um, look at, I mean, this is just a few days. It's like doubled, tr maybe even tripled in size. It's like, that is an awesome petunia. So I decided I wanted to get another one so I can have them like potted up together, probably into a basket. There's a big difference though. See the Home Depot? <laughs> when I get the annual from Home Depot versus the local nursery. Yeah, big difference there. Same thing with these Lobularias, the Alyssa. They look terrible. Those are the two nicest ones I could find at Home Depot. So that kind of stinks, but they're fairly easy to get them to bounce back. Just don't like paying full price. Home Depot though, they're kind of stingy about marking stuff down. You have to get lucky and one of their, um, not contractor, but their landscape people, the people that actually bring in the plants need to be there to get things marked down usually. Uh, otherwise I probably would have asked for a little bit off of at least that one but it'll be okay. And then I did grab three of the fuchsias. These are actually gonna be Mother's Day gifts, so I'll be holding on to them, probably. Hi, Tobes. Hey, Tobes, you stealing the spotlight? How you doing, bud? Did you go swimming? Your butt's wet. Well, body's wet, okay. Glad it's not just his butt. So those are the fuchsias, no variety names. I need to obviously get these out of the sun because we're approaching afternoon sun here, but that's pretty much it. Those are the plants. You know, I just set these over here but I'm liking it. The problem is I really do need to get perennials back into this garden, so I don't think I'll be keeping that like that, but it looks good there for now. It's really pretty. Perennial-wise, I was actually thinking, there's a crinum lily down here. I can never remember its name. It was in one of the garden tours. I managed to find it, like find an old receipt. It was from like 2013 or 14, but I don't remember what it was. But it comes back every year. It has really pretty flowers. It has that nice tropical-like foliage to it. And if I can figure out what it is, or maybe divide it up. It's several years old. I could divide it up and start to kind of plant those around in here. That might look good. It's not going to look as good as the crotons and the cordon, but at least it would be... Uh, um, sorry, there's an airplane. At least it would be perennial. Oh, and obviously that looks sloppy because I just kind of dropped them in there. But that's, that's all of the plants, which I think I said a few times. I just sat down from my computer to release the part two of last weekend's vlog, and the, it's gone. So I have to re-edit that, so I'm just gonna apologize now because that I meant for that to come out a day or two after that vlog, so sorry that was so spread out. Just kind of the way things happen sometimes with computers, I'm sure it's my fault, I'm sure it's something I did. Probably didn't save something properly or maybe, because I like copied, I had the whole thing edited and then I split it in half and copied and pasted it. I probably didn't save the right one is what I'm guessing happened. That's all right, no big deal, not the end of the world. I'm so crazy about these hibiscus, they're so, pretty. Hi Tucker, hello, hi bud. Now, I hope everybody's doing well. The next vlog I'll have all the plants moved out, at least the bulk of them should be moved out by the next vlog. By the end of the next vlog is what I'm trying to say because that's what I'm working on right now. And then I can start planting things. What happened here? 
That's a petunia. This is from last year, but it reseeded, so I decided to go ahead and let it do its thing, see how well it comes back. So yeah, I, like I was just saying, I can't wait to start playing. Oh, I needed to show the Tillandsia. I just forgot, when I was at Lowe's, I pointed out the Tillandsia and I said, give them some morning sun, they'll color right up, because that's what mine looked like. Look at that. Huge difference, right? It's only been a few days. I mean, maybe a week. But big difference between these and those ones that you saw that were at Lowe's. They've colored up very nicely. See this one back here, not as much, but it doesn't get as much light as the other ones do. And ultimately this is what they should come out to look like. That bright, beautiful, deep kind of pinkish magenta. They pop the purple flowers out the side and smell amazing. Love these. So yeah, if you see those at your hardware store and they're looking kind of green and not as colorful as you'd like them to be, Go ahead and get them. Just make sure they get some brighter morning light. They'll color right up for you. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well. It's for hanging out while I rummage through the nurseries and, you know, say I'm not buying anything. The only things I bought that I hadn't planning on trying to pick up sometime this season were the wave petunias. Everything else I needed, well, I need, but were on my list of things to pick up if I could find them for a good price. So, but those... They just smelled so good, I thought I'd grab a couple of them. But if you leave the video a thumbs up, I appreciate it. Subscribe as well, and hit that notification bell, because I upload multiple times a week. I have all of my social media linked down below, down in the description. I am on Instagram more than anything else. Follow me and I'll follow you back. That way we can have fun, nerdy plant time together, looking at each other's pictures. Can't wait for this lavender. It's I can already smell it. It smells really good, but it's like really getting ready to put on some flowers. All right. As always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing.